Let's see, you can't even see me. Good morning, everybody. I need new headlamp batteries. So my light sucks. Let's see if I can do this better. There it is. All right, well, good morning from day 126. We are already out hiking, so I can't talk very long, but we're getting up early for a breakfast buffet. And we got up at, um, well, the alarm went off at 3.30. We got up at four and we started hiking by 5 a.m. Delayering is commencing. Choice of today's. Today's breakfast. <laughs> Choice of today's. Choice of today's breakfast. The terrain has been really exposed in the afternoons. And so it's felt really hot and like dry because there's just not a lot of shade and then the sun is really intense. But then this morning, it was so nice and cool that is Mount Hood. That mountain we've been looking at? Yeah. Yep, definitely Mount Hood, I'd say. Some trail magic over here. Yeah. yeah, a couple of crunchy nature nature valley bars. Somewhere in the haze of trees and sunlight, there's Mount Hood. There it is. Smoky Mount Hood is still quite beautiful. We're hiking up to a ski park right now and then Gonna see about breakfast, Timberline Lodge, Barlow Pass. That's what we're doing right now. This sand is killer, y'all. It's definitely a little challenge, but we are so close. I can, I can see this ski park across the ridge. That is a steep ledge right there. Look, that river all the way down there. Woo! That's kind of scary. Oh, snap. That is a lodge. Okay, I'm pretty sure that there's a ski lift going up the side of Mount Hood. It's hard to see because it's so smoky. Anyways, I think that's the coolest thing ever. Freaking skiing down Mount Hood. What? I didn't know you could do that. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> do, 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 do.
The trail magic of the bars. Bar magic. Coming in hard. Okay, here's the hiker box. I'm really hoping that they have um, a lot of food because if we have some food in here, we will need to do a resupply at Cowboy Camp. We have officially left the vortex of the lodge. We stayed for at least three hours. The table's eating, feasting, drinking, not really. But we did get the breakfast and the lunch buffet. Hardly any of the lunch buffet because we're so full from breakfast. But um, we hung out, we charged our devices, we did all our internet chores. And now we're finally leaving. That was hard to get away. Um, it's always stressful going in and out of these supply points. It's like a love-hate relationship. You're so happy when you get there. And then, and then, and then you find yourself getting frustrated, drinking a Red Bull on a couch. Just kidding. Well, what do you know? Well, according to that sign, we have 550 miles left. Also, we had planned to go into, hi there, no, you're good. We had planned to go into the government camp, but um, yeah, just got busy with stuff. And then we decided it wasn't worth it to take the trolley in. So I found some tortillas in a hiker box. We have some leftover jelly. I found a pasta thing but I'm not sure how it's gonna cold soak. And we have mashed potatoes. Bought some snacks from the guest shop, which was basically just some nut mix. And um, we're gonna make do, we have 50 miles. Oh, somebody gave me a slice of pizza, I hiked that out. Basically a yard sale with our food supply. Um, but yeah. This feels like we're on the moon. Like hiking down a deep crater or like on a different planet. Feeling like way down the crevice where the snow melt is and then back up. It's pretty cool. If you fell down there, you'd fall all the way down. You take a bunch of rocks with you, too. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> Because it's this way.
well, we found this amazing tent site stuffed into these little trees over here. So we are definitely gonna do that because we went to bed so soon after hiking in last night that we didn't get to ride as much and paint as much. So we're gonna do a little bit more of that tonight. But even with our six hour stop at the lodge, we were able to do 19.6 miles. And that breakfast buffet was the bomb.com. I would say that I think it was better than the lunch and the dinner. So just my recommendation, if you're gonna do the buffet and you're a PCT hiker, aim for breakfast. Um, and we're gonna stop and camp. Oh, what was I gonna say? Okay, so we have 30 miles to do tomorrow that we're gonna to try to do um, because we wanted to get into Cascade Locks on Friday, which is about 50 miles from here. 